what's up guys today we're going to be editing this house drop effect here i have my raw video clip a nice drone shot first thing i'm going to do is copy and paste the video clip hold down option and then click and drag up and on this top layer i'm going to hold down shift and press h to create a freeze frame at the point where i want the house to drop down and that should create this hold frame here and we can just trim this hold down option and then right bracket and bring the freeze frame to the left hand side of the video clip. Next, I'm going to export a freeze frame of this so that we can remove the building using AI. So up here at the export button, you should have JPEG. If not, go to add destination. I'm going to select JPEG. Now we can open up an AI software online. For this one, I'm using the Firefly Adobe, which I believe is free. Click upload image and upload the image that we just exported. So you just need to click erase the house from the image and you want to try and be really detailed on the edges. Try not to go over the edges too far. Down here, you need to enter a prompt. So we need to describe what we want to add in and replace the house with. So I'm just going to type field of grass and trees and flowers and then click generate. Okay, so this image looks pretty good. Let's go up here to download the image. Now let's go back into Final Cut Pro and drag in our image that we just created and place that underneath our freeze frame. So now in our freeze frame, we need to create a mask and cut around the house. Over here in the effects panel, I'm gonna go down to mask and keying and just add the draw mask onto this. Zoom in and create a mask around the house and just click and add points. Now we have the mask around the house. I'm going to select the house layer, go to the transform tool and just add a keyframe and then move back a few frames and just drag this up so it's off the screen. So now if I play that back, the house falls into position. Now I'm going to split the house into two sections. So I'm going to add another draw mask and draw a mask around the mid section of the house like that. And then I'm going to copy and paste this layer by holding down option and clicking and dragging. And on the top one over on the draw mask we just made, I'm going to click invert mask and then right click and go to show video animation. Just move these keyframes forward so that it splits the house into two sections and they come down at different times. And on this top section, on the last keyframe, go over to the scale Y and move forward a couple of frames and move this scale Y down. See how it squashes the house just to give it a bit of like a bounce effect. I skipped two frames forward, move forward two more frames, make it a bit bigger than 100%, skip forward two frames and then put it back to 100%. So now we get this like bounce effect on the top section of the house. Now on the bottom layer, I'm going to go to my effects tab and I'm going to use this extrude effect to fill in the top section of this layer. You could also add in a solid. This effect just adds some nice details to it. And then I'm just going to add another mask onto this and just cut this bit off here. Now we have the main animation of the house dropping. Next, I'm going to add like a dust impact and I found this one on productioncrate.com. I found it for free. You just need to sign up to a normal account where you don't have to pay for it. So I'm going to drop that on top of the house layer and then just add a mask around the house so that it blends in nicely to the video. Turn down the feather so that it blends into the sides of the house. Okay, so next I'm going to add a shake effect when the house hits the floor. So over here, my titles tab, I'm going to drag in an adjustment layer and adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to them in the description. It's a free plugin that you can download. This is just going to allow me to add a shake effect to all of the layers together. I'm going to add this rumble preset. I'll leave the link to it in the description if you want to check it out. You could use the earthquake shake effect in Final Cut Pro if you don't have this. And I'm just going to keyframe this at the end so that it slowly fades out. I'm going to bring in another adjustment layer and add like a handheld effect to this. 
Finally, I'm just going to add a bit of motion blur over the top of the house drop animation. I'm also going to add a zoom in and zoom out effect so that it zooms out as it's transitioning from the freeze frame to the normal video, just to hide the cut between freeze frame and video. And there we go, that is the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good for a quick version of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.